वेलकम टू खेलना टीवी यू आर वॉचिंग इन साइड इंडियन फुटबॉल एपिसोड नंबर सिक्सटी थ्री लॉट्स ऑफ स्टफ टू टॉक अबाउट आई थिंक बट नथिंग बिगर दैन दी सुप्रीम कोर्ट डिसीजन विच एज विच केम आउट यस्टरडे एंड ऑफकोर्स एज हाइपर एक्सटेंशन से इज इन दी कमेंट देर इज नो फीफा बैन वी स्टिल आई एम नॉट स्टिल नॉट श्योर अबाउट आई एम आई एंड वी न्यू अबाउट दैट फीफा बैन विल नॉट कम बट आई एम नॉट श्योर will fifa accept the supreme court decision or not that still need to be seen uh, i think uh, we will we will have to wait for the reaction of fifa and afc because uh, this is what the mas the member association of aff has uh, have said on supreme court that fifa doesn't approve the players involvement in the executive committee uh, now right now 36 players set to be involved in the voting process of the Uh, temporary president and the executive committee and the word is important temporary here uh, i hope this short term pain for the indian football will give us a long term long term gain uh, you know and welcome to everyone you are watching khelna tv uh, as i have already said so we will discuss about the supreme court uh, i think landmark decision many people are saying but um, this this still have some catch this still have uh, other side of the coin which we need to discuss i think and that's what we have been doing on this platform we just just don't go uh, with the flow of the news we also bring out the other side of the stories what can what can be the negative side and positive side of the same stories you know we just not seeing the one side we have to see the both side and we have to listen to the all parties so this is this is is the landmark decision in this indian sporting history but is it just good good can't be this misused in future that's i'm going to talk about in detail right now and you know uh, uh uh we will discuss that and other than that you know do we have 36 players who can get involved with this whole process so aff has put in the uh, the you know social media post and the aff that they at this website and everywhere that they're looking for the indian players who played number of games for india to be part of this process so i think we have to see what kind of players going to there and other than that i think uh, there's disappointment for kerala last year with the i think i will say primary indian target bp suher have, have have completed his move to east bengal not surprise uh, the reason being if you know if kerala last year was supposed to be you know 100% going to sign him uh they would have done it by now because they would have not waited for east bengal to be active in the market so we will talk about the the indian football domestic player uh, transfer we will talk about akash mishra uh, how can uh, the social media rumoring can ru- can ruin the uh, move for young indian footballers and i think uh, you know uh, which what whatever happened with that saga we have to discuss that uh, how uh, you know uh, social media accounts and the people can make something out of nothing as such big and can you know uh, because that his training stint with this japanese club was supposed to be kept uh, secret uh, but i understand uh, the player committed mistake when he posted that you know social media post and the japanese location came and he started follow- following and i respect the fan that people have gone to these detail but i think uh, we'll discuss the what's the situation with uh, akash mishra and you know uh, is he going to leave india is hyderabad is he going to allow him to go out we will discuss all these details in detail all these uh, topics regarding him details uh, east bengal have also announced 13 players signing till now uh, of course they are on the way stephen constantine their new head coach have arrived in india already they will start their training very soon <coughs> it's interesting interesting see the how they going to feel the team in the in the durand cup will they going to feel their you know whatever team available well, or they going to feel this looks like more of a reserve team will play there uh, so i think looks like uh, that will be the scenario uh, jamshedpur fc are in the on the roll for their uh, you know uh, for in the transfer business as we know already about wellington they have announced they have already signed their new australian uh, forward uh, and release jordan mare the jamshedpur fc new signing by the way um, uh, i have been talking to few people in australia they says it, this lad has potential he is not a finished product as such uh, he has the potential to be one of the best asian player in the history of isl uh, harry sever and i think that's something very big claim from uh, the sources i was speaking to they have been uh, you know active in a league and this sign and 
that's tell you everything why they have released Jordan Murray or when they allow to somebody like Jordan Murray to go out who's already proven in ISL to replace and uh, with you know uh, with the forward like Harry Swiver the exclusive story which Kaelon broke a couple of days back we'll talk about him also other than that I think of course uh, Pereira Diaz has have has already completed his move to Mumbai City FC official announcement came today Jamshedpur FC also announced SK Sahil I really like SK Sahil signing from Jamshedpur FC um, uh, a club where he can play pressure free, club can where he can fulfill his potential, uh, you know, club which will support him and I think it's a great signing for the player and the club both. Uh, Someone like Rakshit Dagar finally also getting his ISL move. So let's see how he does this time around in ISL. We'll discuss about that, you know, and uh, of course, BP Soher, another another highlight of the signing. Anike Jadav moves from Hyderabad FC to East Bengal need to also discuss why Hyderabad FC have, you know, kind of sold him for very cheap or they have released him. I think uh, Sinyaro is here. They, they, they must be comparing the youngsters for what they have and they have preferred some like Rohit Dhano over Anike Jadav and I think they look... They, but uh, at this stage, if you ask me, Anike Jadav is more ready for the... ISL than the Rohit Dhano because physically uh, he's he's in better shape. Uh, he's a bit older than Rohit Dhano also. So I think that's what I feel. But I think Hyderabad FC is banking on um, Rohit Dhano. Hyderabad FC fans are also disappointed with overall, you know, their ISL uh, uh, knockout winners, you can say, not shield winners. Their ISL winners, but they have not done much in the market as such right now. It looks like they have got weakened uh, from the previous season. So it looks like a difficult you know, in, in terms of the transfer market for them. They are still banking on the young players to come from the reserve team. And also the Kerala Blaster fans, uh, even the Kerala Blaster have uh, done very well last season. Kerala Blaster fans are a bit disappointed, especially with VP Swear also moving. There are lots of players they have sold. I will say uh, to the both clubs, the fans, they need to be a bit patient, you know, uh, uh, the way the market has been going. It's not easy to do complete transfers. And of course, uh, some clubs like Mumbai City, like ATK Mohan Magan, they have been very aggressive with the approach and I am sure uh, the way uh, Kerala Blaster and Hyderabad FC have worked in recent time, they are working on the targets, it's just these deals are not done and, anymore and that's why you're not hearing these rumours at this stage. So I think uh, this the, stuff will talk throughout the video uh, and as I can see already lots of people have uh, joined in, do hit the like button uh, to give everybody update about and of course North East United, we, I'm going to touch on Northeast United also that you know how much Northeast United have received for uh, VP Soher uh, and uh, looks like uh, looks like uh, I think East Bengal got the deal because he is just at one year left in his contract that's one thing second thing is uh, the, the, the transfer fee which uh, Northeast have got what they will do with the transfer fee are they going to invest back it or not that's very important you know and uh, that's and uh, as Jasmin uh, said Bhaskar Gangli and his 80s players will form a lobby and control Indian for that's the first point uh, I also want to speak about a very good point and that's what I said this show is all about you know discussing both sides of the stories not just the one side of the story which are presented to us uh, by the other people so I think I think that's that's great point straight away from Jasmine so we will start with the uh, we'll start with the AFF Supreme Court uh, FIFA and the, uh, the decision which Supreme Court has given is landmark decision for me but I think there is other side of story which we need to discuss and uh, good evening to everyone welcome to Kenlaw TV and, and, and if you are watching this video if, if, if my voice and video quality is fine do hit the like button and I am going to take questions in the second part of the video uh, you know uh, so do hold your questions till then uh, let's start straight away with the you know uh, the AFF and Supreme Court uh, Supreme Court case straight away straight away headline for this decision is AFM election need to take place before September of 15. Uh, the, the Supreme Court has clearly told. But here's the catch. First, but these elections are temporary. The executive committee, the president will be temporary. I can understand for a short term gain, we might, uh, for short term pain, we might get a long term gain. But now, this committee and this president coming on board, will they able to plan for March? international window for the uh, Mr. Ste uh, Mr. match Will they able to plan for the exposure tour before AFC Asian Cup for Indian football team next year? Will they plan for next year FIFA World Cup qualifiers which is going to start in the month of the November? So these are major major questions and, 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 and for the national team I feel bad right now. We are at very 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 important 
uh, on the you know four year window where the big things going to start for indian football team but as a federation as a ecosystem we are not there so that's that's one thing so that's where i'm a bit disappointed that we still don't have the permanent uh, decision it's a, again a again a temporary solution which supreme court has given and i understand court wants to uh, wants to give this case more time wants to understand want to listen each and every party but this last hearing on the uh, on Wednesday uh, went for uh, you know couple of hours and they have said you know that the exact date for the election is yet to be set but they need to be done before September 15 which is the FIFA's deadline to India to match the uh, the you know FIFA FIFA's uh, you know objectives for the National Federation in football and you know uh, that's one thing but Supreme Court has clearly said this the, the the interim body executive committee and president need to be elected based on the draft constitution the constitution is still not finalized it's still in draft mode and you know the interim body will only hold office for three months which means uh september 15 they will be elected october november and december december we will be again sitting in the same position and asking will indian team going to play march friendlies big big questions because interim body will not have much control over funds and everything will they going to be are they will be allowed to you know allocate the funds toward national team development are they allowed to plan for one year uh, window for the national team there's a big questions which need to be answered and they have also you know warned that interim body cannot claim equity in the new in the new ff committee you know which will be elected afterwards so and uh, uh, that's one thing another thing this they have which have clearly said that you know uh, it has decided 36 member of electrical co uh, college will you form on to vote on the interim body this will consist 26 football male footballers uh, 12 female indian footballers you know and the players are only eligible if they have retired for at least over two years ago and they have to also play at least one international match for india to be eligible so that's that's very interesting but you know uh, it has been won by supreme court that there is need to be more equity in electoral college going forward for example there have to be 50 50 equity among women's and uh, men's respect uh, representative in future right now there is not enough female foot footballers to create available uh, equality in the 36 member electoral college hence there are only 12 member considered in the time being straight away first red flag for me is here uh, i come from uttarakhand for example you know i'm and i'm this is not something i'm say by i say I, if i come from just let's give example i'm come from Himachal pradesh i come from rajasthan rajasthan doesn't have uh, many of indian players who are active former indian players who played one matches so does it mean the goa will have more indian players in 36 uh, this committee uh, or bengal will have more players in the 36 committee so that doesn't mean that you know uh, the, these players from goa and bengal are going to support the the cause and the you know uh, the people who are uh, standing for this committee from these locations how they can stop that that's a major thing should not be uh, if there are 36 uh, the MAs for the AFF should not be have been made by Supreme Court very clear that the each player should represent one state association only. For example, there should not be more than one West Bengal player in this 36 player. There should not be one uh, more than one Goan player in that 36 uh, electoral committee because the voice need to be given for each and every state. So that's how the, the structure need to be made. Just to give an example, I'm a Bengali, I'm a Bengali, and this is nothing against a state, any any state and religion. I'm trying to say if, if, if just to give an example, I am I'm say I'm I'm a Goan uh, go, um, I'm a Goan person, uh, you know, uh, Goan person. I'm a, I'm standing for the AFF president election. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, second thing, if I'm straight away ask, and I have on the 36 electoral committee, I have 14 Goan players. Isn't is easy for me to get votes from couple of state federation and win this win that election? How the uh, COA and Supreme Court going to stop that? Because uh, if you see the Indian football ecosystem, Bengal, Goan, Goa, these are the players who are active in the ecosystem. That's one thing. Till now, the players, former players who are involved in the Indian football admin side, ha doesn't have a good track record of doing well. And you can go and take these, uh, you know, uh, there are people in Indian football who are working at the top level who are former Indian players. So will the same lobby is going to be there? How come they are going to introduce new footballers who are not part of the admin side but who are, might have a fresh views? Uh, you know, uh, so something who are not in the news, uh, so somebody who are, don't get much 
you know uh, social media coverage for example you know so that's the couple of things which i'm still waiting for uh, the and, and maybe the, the the full decision will have that i still don't have the full decision i checked with the people who are part of this uh, this case uh, they still uh, you know um, uh, the decision the full decision still need to come out maybe these decision will have it but i'm still i'm still not sure that why why no one has uh, you know uh, talked about this rule of 36 footballers uh, forming electoral cartel for voting can be misused very simply you know for example i'm from west bengal i can put uh, i can get a uh, you know i get 13 14 players from west bengal or played in west bengal in the electoral cartel is easy for me to you know to to get people biased towards me so i think i think these need these things need to be clarified i'm still waiting for the clarification we have reached out to the various parties have not heard anything so i think i think that's that's one thing uh, which i want to know another thing which i want to know the what about the players who have already already involved with the admin side have not done well have not performed well they are part of the system for this year will they going to stay in the system that's second thing and the third thing after this temporary 3 months will supreme court going to take months to take a decision can the can the hearing be continued on the daily basis like the, it had been going till now till the end of the december to get the decision will they going to do this for say on december when the uh, the new committee's uh, tenure will finish they will start the hearing again so so that will take another couple of months to get the decision march india need to play friendly is before the afc asian cup india need to prepare for the uh, the next year fifa world cup qualifiers so if we are in the loop of these things who will be responsible for the bad performance of indian team in the next world cup fifa world, world cup qualifiers supreme court coa aff the new executive committee which we going to be there 3 months the next executive committee which going to be elected after those 3 months these are big questions which people need to ask you know i know this is as i said in the in the introduction of the show that this is a landmark decision but they still have some catching points uh, they still have some negative points which people need to talk about which people need to figure it out and i personally feel that you know uh, is whatever we are doing for the sports uh, indian football team need to given the priority right now and uh, there is you know there, there is new structure in place for fifa world cup uh, which you guys might be aware of 48 teams from asia 8.5 slots have been given to the uh, given to the you know uh, asia which means 4.5 slots are more than the 2022 world cup can indian team be competitive enough in the next fifa world cup qualifiers that's my question my question is not there that will india will be qualifying for the 2026 world i'm not i'm not asking that i'm just asking we need to be competitive enough uh, in the next world cup qualifier that's big question another thing is as um, Genjolen says will there be fifa friendly this year looks unlikely at this stage uh, mr ego stemage in the podcast to the khelnao said that you know he he doesn't know about the you know uh, how much funds will be allocated he looking like will play against isl teams unlikely at this stage will have a international friendlies so will say state fa oppose the suggestion of making former players part of the electoral college to elect uh, executive committee said that it was against fifa rules and national sports code uh, point is there by the way uh, uh, because we don't have uh, former players electing say uh, hockey football uh, hockey federation president or bcc president and the fifa's system says same uh, fifa system is uh, throughout the world is same fifa's president is not elected by the uh, former players so but this is a landmark decision in in that regard only that you know former players are going to be you know uh, part of the electoral college to elect the executive committee so that's one thing second thing but i am i'm still they still need to be cap on the number of players from each member of association say for example if bengal have more footballers let's give a cap of 5 players for bengal can be part of this electoral college not more than that maybe i ideally it should be one from each state association you know and uh, if a state association doesn't have a international player maybe a player who played multiple santosh trophy or played up uh, played for uh, i league or isl or before that you know nfl or before that they played in durand cup or rovers cup or in, in santosh trophy should be given the priority that's how the each state voice will be represented in these elections instead of you know giving five six slots to one state only this seems already seems to be over uh, uh, lignesh says this season already seem i will come to the transfer stories little bit later so more any questions regarding supreme court decision uh, anything regarding that we'll take that right now and then we'll move towards move, move ahead with the story uh, reliance invested almost 4 400 crore last eight year they are a billions of indian football football sad sad said jasmine uh iske alawa hmm uh, rahul mera bhaskar gangli ranjit da jadeva so 
that's i'm not going to take um kumar reddy says ashish state fa lawyers told that they are telling they're telling they're representing 5 lakh please in next next session of supreme court state fa lawyers will let let tell that they are representing we have 132 it crores i think that's that was a good point from supreme court when they said i am representing all the players its state affairs are not representing all the players when we will see the east bengal social account i think this week end of the week or early next week i think you will see the east bengal social media uh, social media account active again uh, most of the questions are related to uh, isl only now which we should be moving ahead uh, what is the future of isl why um, mr bajaj again says he wants that i league back corporation private in the need to be developed in football football is not number one sports here we need huge investment that's another quick quick, uh, quick question which which can be raised that will be football able to progress without the investment uh, required football is the business worldwide uh, can it be progress just based on passion in india that's the big question i think which people need to ask themselves and decide that you know um, Bla- blaster had no replacement for diaz and vasquez i think they have already signed one striker so that replacement you can uh, that is one of them will be replaced they are still looking for another striker to come on board last week which i have told already you guys the, that's that, that that's the deal with their uh, primary target kind of stalled right now maybe they're talking to the secondary target or third target that's we have to wait right now Uh, only six teams are sending their main team to Durand Cup. I think that's decided kind of because Durand Cup, in in a way, it's still not uh, organized properly. The teams can risk their first team players. Uh, that's fine. So let's 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 I think let's move ahead. Ashish, nobody has right to question or challenge the Supreme Court judgment except the first citizen of India. Again, I didn't said I'm I'm challenging it. Uh, that's one thing. But I'm saying uh, this has. you know and that doesn't mean that uh, i know it's a supreme court uh, it's the highest court of in terms of order in india but doesn't mean that uh, we can we can we can talk about the decision they have given they are various decision in past which has been questionable you know and uh, as i'm saying you know the, i just i'm still looking for the detailed decision by the way maybe the other questions which i have raised uh, those will be answered in the detailed decision uh, the file has not come till now so i'm still waiting for that so that's the only thoughts i have for the decision which i have already shared with guy with you guys uh, we are feeling about ban of indian football by fifa don't know when will this sorted i think this this taking time that's 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 thing uh, we are fearing about uh, what about biryani story uh, that's interesting jammu kashmir football federation have ordered biryani for the ton of lakhs lakhs of rupees biryani that biryani never got delivered to the players but that's tell you everything about the the corruption is there in at every level in indian football which need to be sorted out uh so i think let's let's move ahead uh, northeast united uh, as p- the fans have been asking again again uh, what's with northeast united uh i think northeast united i will be tell very honest not sure what they are doing uh, and uh, i hope they know what they are doing that's very important here vp swear is sold now they are getting approximately i think 85 lakh, uh, lakh rupees 85 lakhs i think 75 to 85 lakh rupees in terms of the transfer fee for vp swear which is good money and they got good money for apuya uh, but looks like that money is not going to be a, as a extra investment it looks like it's going to be the part of the regular uh, working capital for the team you know added to that it's not like a, that we got say 75 lakh lakhs of rupees from uh, vp swear sale let's buy a player from that which was out of budget earlier for us it's not looking like the case for that northeast united they are just putting that money to their already you know for example if they have 4 crores and they say and they saying for example they have 12 crores of budget so they are not making it 12 crores 80 lakhs they just putting that 80 lakhs into the 12 crores so i think i think that's that's a concerning sign for the northeast united fans that team uh, the 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 management still not sure i'm i'm still not sure what they're trying to do uh, with their recruitment and everything and i have talked to couple of people in last 7 8 days and uh, these are very people who are in the game in indian football they are involved in various kind of transfer deals or various kind of uh, you know what clubs are doing at the isl level and many people are telling me they're still not sure what northeast united are trying to do so i think only thing is that we can wait and see you know what they're trying to do but the last last i checked that you know uh, with east bengal now active in the as and and this i i was fearing for north east united a couple of week back if you guys remember once the moment east bengal get active in the market they will have the money uh, to attract any player which north east united need in domestic setup until unless they don't need it then north east united can sign it so they should have been proactive in that regard 
you know uh, regarding the you know uh, regarding situation with these uh, indian players availability now with you know uh, east bengal active i think it's look tough that will they able to get the the indian players they're looking for regarding foreigners uh, north east united have that uh, habit of including that contract uh, with the foreigners one plus one deal or kind of deal that if you are signing for us next year you will only play for us in isl you not play for any other team so players are also now you know uh, are, are careful of that fact uh, we know the previous players in previous season who played for northeast wanted to play in isl but they couldn't play so now these players you know uh, these players uh, uh, they you know uh, the uh, the players who foreigners who are coming into northeast united in terms of like they are very careful of these things i think that's another thing that it will be taking time because northeast contract is bit complicated for the players to accept and sign and then that let's see what they say what they do in the uh, next couple of days uh, but i think um, they are uh, they are make, there's a foreign signing which will be done from northeast uh, i think very soon and that can be today tomorrow anytime but was, i think that player have received the Uh, contract offer from northeast so i think that the signing is remaining uh, pardum reddy the ceo of dempo as he told that afc road map which was announced by aff afc in 2019 after there was no communication with the stakeholders and aff regarding to in an interview uh, 2019 the afc road map uh, came into the uh, uh, came into the action uh, 2020 ak mohan bagan we knew east bengal came into the league we knew uh this year onwards the the team which get promoted to the uh, isl will be there so now the question uh, can will aff announce it that i league winner from this season will get into i league uh, isl or will not get into isl then only we can say that you know that they are not going by the road map so i think we have to wait because as i said earlier afc fifa has signed the road map they are the parent body of football in in, in asia and in the world so i think they will make sure the road map is followed if not so i think we know that what what that means for indian football so i'm still i know maybe the communication aff is not com- that's the that's from the aff that they have not communicated to the these stakeholders regarding the same but what i'm told the the promotion will be there from this season uh, what do you the um, uh, leon official says washish what did he do on the fact even football fanatic states reason are being been regulated uh, neglected from the needed infrastructure development including renovated or new stadium i think that's two questions here uh, how much state federations are doing to work with state government to develop these infrastructure or uh, you know to give them see uh, state governments works differently all across the india every state government has a different way to do it um, to give an example Uh, when Mr. Saji Parvakaran, who is a football Delhi president, he came here on the studio and told he is trying to meet LG of Delhi to so that can get status of Ambedkar Stadium shorted for the renovation work and everything. Same way, I think uh, all other stadiums in India, state federation need to get active and get that done. So I'm not sure how much state federation are involved with uh, that. That's interesting to see. Sandesh Jhingal to East Bengal, Bangalore FC. Uh, I will be not surprised if Sandesh Jhingal. Uh, goes to east bengal uh, sandesh jingan was loved by uh, stephen constein sandesh jingan was uh, kind of adored by uh, sandesh jingan adored uh, you know he have a huge respect for stephen constein so that's a major factor i uh, might be there that he will want to go to east bengal and play for east bengal uh, and considering i am sure east bengal will be able to give him the the marquee signing uh, marquee salary which say bangalore fc might not able to give because they have already have gurpreet and sunil chetri on that kind of salary so i think uh, east bengal need the marquee signing in terms of the indian player and i think sandesh jingan is the can possible that marquee signing for them and i think i, I will not surprise he goes to the east bengal uh, now now let's let's come to the other players other other teams also uh, can we east bengal fan accept better team in isl this time last two years my father both are the upset watching team performance need to beat it atk mohan bagan i'm not sure about beating atk mohan bagan arjit das bhai but uh, one thing i'm sure about the east bengal performance will be very competitive this season uh stephen constein have a track record of doing so only thing is now can the east bengal sign four good foreigners Uh, for four foreigners who can walk into other isl team and if they can do that as a club i am not i will i don't have any doubt over uh, east bengal fighting for those top 6 top 7 spots you know um, not like last season where there was a three easy points for the teams 
this uh, this season already seems to be over with the ATK Monmohan signing till now. They have best young young players, some good foreign talent. I could see them signing player exactly for that position. Uh, I think I think there's doubt over that who's going to be the striker. But uh, what I heard, you know, uh, the Hugo at the other other attacking attacking play, uh, midfielder they have signed um, looks like the we might see Indian striker friend or we might see false number nine from Juan Fernando and I think he's working toward it. He knows what he wants to do and I think they, he he's making the team according to the demand of the AFC Cup. I think the priority for ATK Mohan Mangan is winning the AFC Cup, uh, not the ISL. Because if ISL very super hit formula, put a foreign striker up front, put a attacking midfielder just behind him and one centre back and one midfielder. For foreigners, you're done sorted. But that will not work in the AFC Cup. You need to very, as a team structure, you need to very solid. And I think uh, that was uh, Juan Fernando is trying to create. Uh, Kerala Blaster, uh, uh, their primary Indian target is out now. Uh, VP Swear have joined East Pungal, that's one. Uh, second thing is, uh, they still have not made much progress for their foreign foreign striker. Uh, we ha heard nothing last seven days since the last show. Because you guys remember last week I have told about the, the talks kind of stalled the top target. So I think uh, the window is still very uh, early all across the Europe, for example, Premier League windows closing end of the August. So I think I think we still have time. Uh, somebody like we already know top ISL forwards which comes in past, they came in the later part of the window. So I think I think that's what Kayla Vlasa might be thinking, you know, there will be, there might be players who are not available right now, they might be available get later part of the window and then that time they might snatch them. Uh, uh, Jasmine says, Pradham Reddy should talk about the match fixing in Goa League, Dempo, Salvagar, Churchill are mining mafia, they use club balance sheet to launder money. That's very interesting. I can't say anything. But instead of that pre-season tournament, they can make Durand Cup Cups like FA Cup, but do not make Durand Cup Cups like IPL. Durand Cup have a lot of history. However, you cannot compare with that. But I have a good, I have a good, good, very good uh, format. I, and I was thinking, uh, Kumar Reddy, for the Durand Cup, what can be made for the Durand Cup? Army will, will really wants to organize it uh, on an annual basis, on a, on a venues differently. I was thinking, this is my, this is completely my thinking, by the way. Uh, I was I was thinking uh, for the Durand Cup can be it made like this uh, our season start in the uh, say 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 September for example for ISL can the Durand Cup the regional qualifiers uh, if they want to involve 40 50 teams regional qualifiers start in the month of the September uh, you know uh, playoffs and everything and you can can then get to the I League teams in the November and then involve ISL teams uh, from December onwards during the mid mid uh, you know uh, weekdays and uh, you know play home and away uh, at the knockout stage round of 32 whatever you call it and by that time season ends you get your top four teams you know uh, who are going to play in the semi final final and don't play the semi final final uh, in the during the season say March April play that semi final and final in the month of August. You know, uh, the way Durand Cup wants to be to play it in Delhi, play it in, uh, play it in Kolkata, but keep the cup throughout the year, you know, uh, uh, which, which, which should be the way it is. And then play semi-final and finals at particular one venue, if you wants to play, or even a home and away if you wants to play, and then play final at a particular neutral venue. I think that's the way Durand Cup can be more relevant to the teams. Uh, it can it can get its due importance back. Teams will be serious about it because it will be in between the season and get Durand Cup. It's already recognized by AFF, but you know maybe a partnership between say ISL, AFF, and Durand or oh, Indian Army. It can be made uh, the festival of Indian football the way it should be. So I think I think I think that should, should do, they should do it. You know, uh, and that way you can get introduced another cup competition in between, which can be again played like FA Cup and Carling Cup. You know, and that's way Durand Cup should be should be made. Uh, it it can be made in a way that ISL teams uh, play only two rounds before they qualify for the same finals so that's why their involvement in the actual tournament is is limited to minimum two games a uh, minimum one game which is knockout game and maximum uh, four games including final so that's not very hectic on the ISL teams but that's give the importance to the Durand Cup that's involved the clubs uh, clubs from uh, the lower half club from state different states you know and you know uh, and can make Durand Cup uh, a good uh, good football tournament back again. Stephen Constant reacted Kolkata today morning, reached Kolkata morning and practiced with team players afternoon. Heads off to him, reason why we've reached 97 news ranking. 
I think that's what East Bengal fans will write. He's, he's very competitive with his nature. I have met him a uh, couple of times and I know him very well. So that's I can promise you guys. I have, so that's what for Durand Cup. What after 25-25 season, I will stick to with 13 teams. In my opinion, after 25 season, promote two teams, relegate one team still. 29-30 season, ISL we have eight. I think that's the way to going. Actually, I, I, I really believe we can't make ISL straight away 20 teams. It's need to be happen gradually. And I think the way is 2019-30 season, having 20 teams or 18-19 teams. I think that's the ideally the way doing. The, the way of doing it, instead of just increasing it uh, does FC Goa look like a team who can challenge Mumbai City FC ATK more for the title uh, I think the core of Indian players same uh, the, the foreigners are better uh, of course they can challenge but uh, I have my question mark over Carlos Pena I have not seen any other coaching any football club as of now so I will not able to judge him until I see his team play but the team is better in shape as compared to last year so let's wait for uh, to see the coach and then then we'll then we'll confirm Federation should be the AFL Carbao Super Cup should be replaced with the Federation Cup dummy or worst Super Cup should be in the dust <laughs> says Kumar Reddy. so that's that's fine uh, now yeah so we were talking about Kerala Blaster is is done uh, now, now let's let's talk about Akash Mishra is very important that I I, I you know uh, touch that topic also uh, so let me confirm few stuff for you which kind of a rumoring stage in Indian football and it happened in past uh, Indian players when they go out the news comes in Indian media uh, to give an example with uh, um, Brendan Fernandez move towards Reading uh, a transfer fee uh, from Reading uh, was introduced uh, if I remember so Reading right yeah Reading was uh, came in Indian media times times internet I, the times now if you remember they broke the news or somebody that time around that they have paid they have offered a contract to him which was just before they they were, they were thinking to offer when that news came out club got offended of it and they were not withdrawn the offer but they they decided to wait for it uh, same in the case of Mr. Akash Mishra, uh, he is in Japan, uh, that is confirmed. He is there for a training, come trial, uh, whatever you can call it, uh, you know, uh, with, the, with the Japanese club. The season is already, uh, by the way, in, uh, in, in the later part of the uh, season, is already in later part in Jap Japan. Uh, the coach there is the former Akash Mishra coach uh, who coached him at FC Pune City. Uh, so, so that's one thing. Second thing is uh, um, Hyderabad FC have been very cleared with the fact that uh, Akash Mishra is part of their upcoming season plan. That so there is no way till now Japanese club have reached to Hyderabad FC for any kind of communication for signing him. Uh, you know, and uh, so so the news of him being offering contract uh, or signing transfer fee, blah blah blah, is all faked and created by social media's uh, transfer gurus uh, and uh, I think that doesn't work in the favor of the uh, favor of the player by the way because he's there on the on a foreign club foreign club take take notes of these things you know and uh, they believe if player is just training with us right now he's on a training come training come trial stint and the news of him uh, signing for his out which is not truth club take offend of it that's one thing second thing is Hyderabad FC and Akash Mishra have some kind of understanding in their in his uh, existing contract of him going out if actual offer come but what I'm what I'm what I'm what I'm told and what I believe is that Hyderabad FC is planning with Akash Mishra for upcoming season and uh, what I think that he's going to stay at Hyderabad FC that's what I believe but I'm told also that you know he is there for training slash trial stint and uh, the way the news have come out uh, till now uh, in the Indian social media is have not worked for his favor that's that's that, that's definitely i'm going to tell you guys uh why how many foreigners uh northeast united have signed till now uh, they have not signed any foreigners uh, right now you know uh till now that's one thing let me open my sheet of also of, of players which signed till now so so that i don't miss just give me one second guys yeah, and uh, before we let's go to the Northeast United. I think other than uh, the players, Northeast have not signed anybody dotted line. What I believe, and I think they have to. I have to wait before I can say anything. I don't want to give any half cook news right now. They have done this. So I think, as I told, discover Northeast. I think the st story remains same. Jamshedpur FC is active. That's we have already touched upon. 
Harry Sawyer, a uh, very good signing. I think people will like him if he can hit his potential, the talent he has. Anwar Ali is a free agent. Why no ISL club is running after him? Anwar Ali, Anwar Ali is one of the best players. Anwar Ali is not a free agent. He is he's with FC Goa. His deal is not expired with FC Goa as of now. Uh, when will ISL release a uh, fixture? I think not. Maybe later part of the August. Uh, when will uh, Marco Bulbul arrive in India? No news, nothing from North East United on that side. When will team register squad for Durand Cup? I think in next... I think the squad is already started going out. I'm not sure what the last last date. Uh, please start a Discord server. I think it's a dear Jasmine. We are just I need to just make it active again. We, we started it, but we have not followed up on that. Goa took a lesson from last season. Therefore, they are sending their B team. This, I think that's injuries have not worked for Goa in last season. So I think that's also important. That's why clubs are very serious. So somebody like, you know, uh, Caleb last year is not sending their first team because they knew what happened last season with them also. So please, info, I have... I have I know that yet to be signed, but I can't give any information because if that player is not signed as of now, I don't want to work, uh, give the information and the deal might go off the record. So I don't want to do that. Will Sports 18 broadcast the Durand Cup as reported as some journalists? I think it's still not confirmed. Durand Cup broadcast at that times, that's what the deal is with. Um, but I'm not sure they will give uh, the official deal with sports time is done or not at this stage. We have to wait. Uh, we have to wait. Channel FC looks like the, the, the uh, team is ready. Uh, I'm not sure no, Channel FC fans should not hope for any more uh, new signing at this stage. Uh, I believe so. They are, they are done. Maybe, couple, maybe one more signing, but I'm not sure they will do anything now till the end of the uh, uh, window. Uh, Isunga overplaying, they have to. Uh, I think it's not a choice they have. They need to get the players on board and sometimes they have to give more money because they are late in the transfer window. Uh, after everything sort out and a crystal clear roadmap, exist Indian football, addition of clubs like Dempo, SC, etc. make ISL more interesting. Uh, addition of Dempo, SC should be based on the promotion. Uh, they should not be you know directly put into the ISL. So if they can win promotion, I am sure it will make it interesting. But... Uh, uh, I know Dempo, Salvahoka sporting are legendary Goan clubs, uh, but how many Goan people will comment and support Dempo SC in ISL or I League, for example? Uh, Chachil Brothers plays in the empty stadiums in I League when they played in last. Sporting Goa and Dempo were playing in empty stadiums, were then playing in I League. Crowd did die in Goan football way before ISL came, by the way. Uh, for all the stadium used to be empty. Uh, before ISL, uh, I remember Rempo and all of these clubs wanted to play in Fatorda Stadium. When when personally fans felt Tuller or Tilak or uh, Bambalim f uh, fitted them more because 5,000, 10,000 fans they can still attract, they can't fully fill the Fatorda Stadium. So that's a big question. Uh, will go on people, uh, you know, support Rempo in ISL or in I League? That's a big question. Or they will still keep on supporting FC Goa. So FC Goa became a brand in Goa and I think uh, which is still uh, others are trying to replicate but they have not done it. Uh, Churchill Brothers changed their name to Churchill Brothers FC Goa or Goa FC So, but they are still not able to get any crowd in the stadium. So I think that's a big question because without fans football is nothing. So I think uh, until as these clubs can attract fans that should be the you know, uh, that should be the major criteria to win ISL. That how many, at least, I'm not saying there should be 30,000 fans in the stadium, but they should have at least 5 to 10,000 fans come to the stadium to support their team. Uh, Ignatius is Japanese second division more competitive ISL. I think he has a opportunity to play in the AFC Cup, AFC Champions League. Indian players cannot move abroad just for the sake of it. This is what I feel. I think, but it's not a bad start. If the Japanese second tier uh, club is on the promotion places, will go to the J League. Not a bad, bad, bad stop. Second thing is scouts. European scouts are more in Japan than in India. So that's given opportunity to go out. That's given an opportunity to Indian players that they want to try something, not just to comfortable with ISL. You know, because Japanese clubs not paid too much as salary as ISL club are paying to the Indian players. Can any team play with two name in two tournaments? Uh, East Bengal can't play with the name Inami, so we can accept East Bengal FC Endurance Cup. I think uh, uh, they are going to play East Bengal FC only in all tournaments. Uh, that's what kind of confirm in the press conference. Uh, Ashish, people are complaining about Durand Cup Stadium, so nobody can control nature, rain and weather. Yes, but it can be planned. Uh, you know, uh, last season, the, 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 see, well, the whole point of, uh, you know, pre-season tournament is to train, train and train. If there's not much training facilities available, clubs are going to complain about it. So, see, if uh, I know it's raining in Delhi, it's raining in many parts of India, but then why have to play in the places which are still raining? Because Northeast, 
will rain in this part of time. Can they come to other places where it is not raining or the infrastructure is a bit better, uh, you know, uh, where training pitches are better? That's the questions uh, which is there for Durand Cup committee to take, you know. And that's what all is all about. It's not about you know, anybody is asking to control the nature or, you know, uh, to turn the rain around if there is. Where I shall feature in this year FIFA game, it will be there for sure. Uh, I'm still waiting for my sources to tell anything about the national team involvement in the FIFA this. So I'm waiting for that thing to come. Uh, what will be the opening match of ISL? I think let me guess what it will be. Uh, Kerala Blaster versus ATK Mohan Magan. And that's have been the opening match of the ISL for years. Uh, uh, I will really like uh, Hyderabad FC and uh, Jamshedpur FC uh, ISL match, first match. I think that should be the way first match of the uh, league. Uh, a, a cup win, a, a, a shield winner, a knockout winner as a Super Cup title. Not Super Cup, but as a first game of the season will be kind of an interesting game. Uh, what will the opening that's I've already taken? Um, Northeast are of course in talks with a couple of strikers, South Americans or one of the South American strikers they are also in talk. So I think and one, uh, the Asian forward they have also touched on base with but it is not done. They can take a name at this stage. I heard Caleb last inquired about an Indian winger. Do you know who he is? I have not heard something like that. They have inquired or not because uh, the availability of Indian players is not available. Not many Indian players are available right now on the, on the transfer market. So, not sure which Indian winger you're talking about. You're talking about 16, 17, 18 year old Indian winger or Indian winger who is 25, 26. That's a different story altogether. Will FC Goa stay? I think FC Goa most likely is going to extend the Anwar Ali contract. It's altogether a question to Anwar Ali. Will he going to stay at FC Goa? That's a big question. So, here was the primary target of the Kerala, but who is the second preference? Uh, who are how many strikers are there in Indian football who are available right now? You can you can say that uh, Ishan Pandita, but he what I am told from Jim, my sources that uh, he is not available in the market. Jamshed FC feels if anybody wants Ishan Pandita, they have come and break the transfer record for Indian football. They are not going to sell him to anybody, and especially they are not going to make the rival strong. Uh, and I think I think another thing um, which may, I'm, I'm just assuming you know uh, uh, why many of the teams are not selling their players or not giving their players on very ease to each other because they feel that they're going to make the other team top four contender a weak, weak, weaken themselves. Your prediction top six this season uh, and Durat Kam semi-finalist. Uh, Durat Kam semi-finalist is tough to predict. It's a prison tournament. Uh, top six, I think let's wait. Uh, but still, I think it's early prediction. Nobody should take an offer out of it. We have to wait and see pre-season games before I can say. But... Uh, uh, looks like ATK Mohan Magan. Uh, I put straight away there. Uh, I think one of Jamshedpur and Hyderabad might struggle. Uh, I personally feel, but at this stage, I still have to see Jamshedpur signing. So I give them a benefit of doubt. So I will, I will, I will, I will keep one spot for Jamshedpur or Hyderabad. I'm not going to keep both of them. Uh, I think Mumbai City will be there. Uh, that's that's two uh, top six. Uh, uh, I think third will be. Uh, I think uh, third will be uh, FC Goa. I think they have struggled, but I think they will still make it. Uh, fourth will be, I think, uh, I think it will be Kerala Blasters. Uh, I feel uh, fifth. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, fifth, Bangalore FC. I think people might say I'm. And I have said one of the Jamshedpur and Hyderabad. I'm. I'm not have a good feeling that. Who out of them will come into top six? But I think teams are trying to be, and it will be very competitive this season the way it is going. Akash Mishra, I've already discussed about Sunil. I have to a bit more listen to him, but uh, the news about him is that you know uh, people have overreacted to the fact that he's in Japan for his trial or training. Uh, the club has not approached Hyderabad FC for any kind of deal as of now. Uh, the club understand what I'm told that he will be back for ISL. He will play for Hyderabad FC as it is a training stint for him. Uh, the uh, there's understanding or there's a there's a clause in his contract with Hyderabad FC. If there are actual offers come from foreign club, he will be allowed to go. But nothing at this stage, which is reported on the Indian social media, Indian football social media, that he is set to join. And the club where he's training right now have taken an offense of it that you know the way news have came out in India. Uh, Ashish, you know that how Durand Cup goes to Kolkata because of Mamta Banerjee influence of uh, uh, could offer and plan a military Durand Cup committee. I think because they have signed an agreement, silly agreement with the, the Kolkata government for the Durand Cup to be in uh, for years in, uh, in in Kolkata. I personally feel Durand Cup uh, has a legacy and history with Delhi. 
it should somehow some capacity should stay in delhi you know and uh, i think uh, the final of the world cup should should still take place in delhi because top quality football is not taking place in delhi for years you know and kolkata get isl kolkata get national team games kolkata get afc cup kolkata get will get afc champions league with the clubs are there in the afc champions league so i think maybe uh, they should have to bring back durand cup in some kind of capacity in delhi that will be great uh, what is the news of a justin and geo thomas we st- i think uh, they will offer the best money to the both players uh but the they have not signed as of now that's why the non sort of their news have not come but i think i will be not surprised if they will join the uh, east bengal uh is jj back to isl talks are in progress but as of now not done that's one mumbai city fc looks like the team is done and dusted i am not think feeling that they going to sign anybody new now uh you know uh, it looks like that's where they going on anything about north east they are fe- feeling the competition and heat from east bengal for the domestic signing Kerala Blasters versus India match. It's possible. That's what uh, Ego C match have said on the podcast that he's looking like that he will play a couple of ISL team which includes Kerala Blasters. As a ATK Mohan Gun fan, why North East United FC is weak in transfer market from last three season? Is North East United going to shut down? Uh, I think that's very harsh on North East United fans to say they're going to shut down. But I think they need a new set of owners to come on board as soon as possible. That will be great. is danish farooq be- uh, became india's best midfielder of very bold claim i don't think he is the best indian midfielder that's a personal choice but you you might be thinking why not go for sending players like princeton and gama and redeem because i think they feel their past part of their first first team actual actual uh, you know they feel that they might be used better in the pre season games uh, that's one uh six team has kept open for hyderabad or jamshedpur fc i have to wait to see jamshedpur fc all signing or hyderabad fc to complete the signing before we can decide uh anything about uh, ishan pandit ishan pandit the only thing I'm, i can tell you that you know jamshedpur fc have told clubs clearly if they want to sign ishan pandit they have to break the bank for him they are not going to sell him very for easy, very easy or plus money name a top 5 indian best midfielder right now uh, utpal so indian midfielder i will put category wise uh, defensive midfielder i will put uh, the best one on the category of uh, apuya suresh andu thapa three uh, attacking midfielders i will put uh, brandon i put sahel i put uh, mohammad yasir uh, these are three uh, i think six uh, and uh, i think uh, there are couple of more of course which i might be forgetting right now but in these six looks like the me to me you know on the on the pinnacle of the top top indian uh, midfielders right now or if i'm missing on someone uh, let me quickly go through uh, jackson i will put on the list but i still not uh, put him top 3 in number 6 and definitely is not uh, in the top 3 at the attacking midfielder position uh, there is uh, uh puitia also there at kerala blaster but still not top 3 for me uh other than that uh, mm, of course you have rolvin and pranoy and these kind of players still not i still don't feel they are the top 3 and the current form uh who are other players which i can put i'm just going through each and every team and thinking but i think i think these six players looks like a very good pool of midfielders we have i still feel india need a, a new uh, a modern number 8 Uh, or can we shift uh, you know uh, glen martin uh, i think glen martin form in recent season had gone dipped has he performed better than uh, thapa apuya and uh, uh, suresh in recent time for national team i will say no but glen martins have the potential uh, to be in part of these top 3 but he should be the fourth in the list if i ask for the as a jixen and uh, Jixson and uh, Glen Martin will be around those three players in number six position, but uh, attacking midfielder I think still we need more. Or uh, I I didn't forget Jixson. I took Jixson name. I think these are my top three. So Reis Thapa and Apuya for number six, and I Jixson will be involved in these top three, fourth or fifth alongside Glen Martins for the number six role. I still feel we need more of number eight players, number eight because Brendan and uh, Sahel are bit of more. uh um, more uh, attacking midfielders they are not box to box or you can number 8 uh, somebody said glen is more like box to box uh glen is more like a number 6 i think thapa and apuya are more like box to box to me because 
they also get involved in the attacking play uh, more than uh, Glenn Martins. Uh, why do Indian players don't explore other Asian strong leagues? Have you spoken to any Indian players regarding playing in other Asian leagues, other Asian players who have more quality, if not money? Lignesh, there's a two, two things here. Uh, Asian leagues have a cap of an Asian player, one player. And ideally, those one players come from Japan, South Korea, Australia or Middle East. So that's one reason. Second thing is, of course, money is a factor. So if, even if they get crack of these team, top leagues, K-League, J-League will not sign Indian player because they feel the Asian better players are available. And especially the Brazilian players who have a double passport now, you know, uh, we know that there are lots of Brazilian players with a double dual, dual passport, lots of uh, European players with a dual passport now playing here and there. So I think that's the reason uh, they don't go and uh, we have not seen much movement in, in these terms. Uh, I heard Man United looks, looks, looks as Manchester United sponsor, uh, then they can look for North East United, at least they have a United title. <laughs> That's, that's, that's funny, but I mentioned that it's not looking to sponsor any team. Give uh, Glenn Martin's work like a destroyer to break upon an attack. It is not to build a gameplay. It's a more of a number, actual, actual number six. The old traditional number six, you know, something like Purna Huldar used to do in past. I think Glenn Martin's can do in the modern time. Uh, but I still feel uh, the, the modern midfielders like Apuya, Suresh and uh, Apuya, uh, Thapa are better. I am still not sure which category we should Thapa put in. We should put in number 8 or number 6. But I have put in number 6. I have just categorized in two categories. One is attacking midfielder, one is center midfielders. So these 6 are my top. Jixon, Puitya, Glenn will be in and around these players. But I feel these 6 players are should be there in the top top midfielders from India. Uh, either senior under 20 level when opposing team playing with a park the bus strategy, Indian team really suffer to score goal against weak team. Last moment, last goal against Maldives. Uh, Totally agree. I think and that's more of a playing patterns, training patterns and how much uh, credibility and how much talent our midfielders have to break these low, uh, low line uh, defense, you know, uh, blocks uh, while, while, while attacking. How only Thapa can play as DM? He can only play as CM. He cannot play DM. He, he is not a single. Nobody has put in Nando Thapa as a single pivot. You know, I said I have, I have given my best midfield for India for a couple of years. Now, one year ago, Apuya Thapa and I feel Brendan. Uh, try of midfield uh, it can be uh, you can add uh, Suresh in, instead of uh, Apuya instead of uh, uh, Thapa instead of uh, Brandon instead of Sahel but I think I still feel you know as, as I said I said that uh, Thapa is more for number eight but I categorized Indian midfielders in two categories for the question one is center midfield and the other attacking midfielder so I feel you know Thapa can still do a job at number six he has done the job at number six in past not a big thing Jackson is the best in defensive midfield, in my opinion, I still don't feel so. I feel we still have a uh, long way to go to be called as the best uh, DMF in the country. Uh, he is there to be around. I, I will be very honest. Uh, physicality wise, he is there. Technique wise, it's just the maturity level. Uh, but I still feel, say, Apuya is more technical on ball than Jixon. So that's giving him extra. And I really like a uh, technical player. But I think Jixon is in and around. Uh, for the those midfield spots. That's why he's a part of the Indian team. ATK Monmagan versus BFC this season. Your opinion, cause of ex ATK Monmagan players versus new players from ATK Monmagan. I am not uh, bashing Northeast fan. I have love and respect there. I think it's interesting and two English coach. Uh, sorry, not at uh, ATK Monmagan for sure, but East Bengal and Bangalore FC have a two English coach. I think it's really interesting because Mohan Magan had that rivalry with Bangalore FC in I League days. And, and, and will uh, that rivalry continued in uh, ISL? It will be interesting to see. Let's see how they do it. Uh, any outgoing from FC1 looks unlikely. I think most of the players they want will stay. Uh, will uh, FSDL in next two seasons before relegation go for a new bid for franchisee from state like UP, MP, Gujarat, Bihar? We are new clubs. Existing doesn't wider football uh, extension uh, uh, need of the hour. I don't think there is much interest from the state right now. Only place where I feel that you know uh, the the, the uh, franchisee has some kind of a chance to come in next couple of years is uh, Ahmedabad. That's I'm very honest with. I don't feel any other uh, you know uh, any other league have shown any other state have shown any kind of interest as such you know uh, to have ISL franchisee because you have to see the brands and everything you know how they're going about around so I think that's what I have heard but I will you know because Bihar doesn't have any infrastructure right now Bihar doesn't have any active group who is looking for franchisee right now so in terms of infrastructure as Ahmedabad have 
the infrastructure right now ready uh, which can be utilized if any team come so i think that's one delhi can be another another space uh, and another city where our infrastructure is ready and where everything can come so that, that that's something which you can talk about uh, but i don't think bihar like a state can all of a sudden get an isl franchise it will not happen over the night somebody have to do the base work uh, any update on kela blaster friendly games to kela clubs have to check sorry they we have not followed much because of the cwg uh, yasir mohammed versus dinthoi dinthoi is a winger yasir mohammed yasir is a attacking midfielder i think we will see mohammed yasir playing more centrally going ahead not on the right wing what do you make of atk mohan squad in this afc cup will they perform better than, i think they will perform better than the last time uh straight away i think they will perform the coach knows what he's trying to do with the with the team uh for the fc cup what do you think to, to reach world cup we don't need to go too far we just need to reach the level of oman uzbekistan syria uh we need to very serious about our football we need to very serious about our youth teams we need to very serious about our friendlies our national team our game and if we are serious i don't want lots of crores of money just be serious of what doing there are chances that india can be competitive in the, all those world cup qualifiers is bangalore fc looking for, of course they are looking for the indian center back as you know sandeep singh is talk talks with them uh, but uh, let's see what's happened there uh, there is possibility of removal removal remove atk out of east bengal i think that talks have been going for a while of the atk uh, removal from mohan bagan name will be not surprised that it will be done uh, this year or next year maybe this year let's let's see but i think it will be done i'm I, i'm i'm sure of the fact that it will be done not sure of the fact when it will be done uh, ck when is back to isl uh, looks unlikely i have not heard any news about him joining any isl club what do you make of atk that have taken by any updates on uh, domestic signing of killa blaster i think uh, they they not many talents are available who are better than the players they already have they have already signed couple of young players already you know and uh, the other domestic players as i told one east bengal will get active they will might go that way because that their chance of playing regular in the east bengal is easy than at uh, killa blaster where they already some players who part of the first team who has already taken the spots so i think what they need that uh, center forward kerala blaster they need the center forward from last two years and they thought bp swear might be the target but i think i think who are the indian forwards right now shan pandita kind of not available but which uh, kerala blaster can target that heard nothing from kerala blaster with the targeting uh, shan pandita uh, can they take a punt on jj uh, he might be he might be um, injured he might have not recovered well if he is fit which can be determined on the medical i think jj can be a very good signing for club like kerala blaster the reason means i said they will have a foreign strikers jj just have to be fit and do the role of indian forward when need to be done jj is a goal scorer if you can create chances uh, for uh, you know uh, for him and i know jj has not done nothing in last two years injured not recovered but if he is fit i think he need to play for a club where there is less pressure of scoring to he need to be main striker he can be second choice third choice should not be first choice so i think club like is if kela blaster need an indian striker can they take a punt on somebody like jj or they can get some like you know himanshu jangra if they want to uh, invest on a young striker uh, who is just playing for india under 19 team right now so i think that's that's kela blaster calls uh, which they have to take and uh, other than that not many strikers are available right now who who are good enough to play in isl uh, love your podcast and discussion man can you interview different isl team coaches during the season before starting i think before sta- before the season i want to do it um, we were we were supposed to have hyderabad fc coach this week but of course the training the double training session are going on so you know um, getting availability of the coach is not easy i'm we are working towards getting more coaches i think that's where the coaches can speak freely when they play before the season during the season it's become tough for them to you know speak their mind because uh, the, the calendar is very tough ashish approx what is the highest and lowest budget for an isl team i think salary cap is the highest 16.5 crore officially i can say our lowest have team have spent around 8 to 9 crores also in a season so which differ to season to season why do you need franchise if you want to be football club you should be climbing division follow the football structure i hate franchises why people go on going gaga on nb nfl and mls or ipl model uh two reason i think you can't you can't uh, remove business from the sports worldwide uh sports are business uh worldwide as i said not just in india um i think only few places sports have um, kept their original value with passion uh to give an example uh, i have given this example to everybody there are four grand slam in tennis in the world only one grand slam in the world uh, which is uh, wimbledon 
have stayed away from getting commercialized you know they don't have any sponsors like the other 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 uh, grand slam have they just have you know sponsor which are required times time sponsor ball sponsor that's it they don't have any major major sponsors like a australian or us open they have kept that alive based on the members members fees and everything so i think it's not easy to progress the sports because um, uh, let me tell you uh, why a businessman uh will start a club uh, in say isl and uh, spend uh, 20 30 crores and think without uh, you know uh, getting anything in return in back so i think business will be involved in the in in, in the sports worldwide not just in india and i think uh, why i said uh, uh, franchise for ahmedabad makes sense ahmedabad wants to hold olympics ahmedabad have the infrastructure uh, so if a club comes from ahmedabad to give i just giving an example uh i think uh, i'm i'm just assuming the fact say adani group wants to start a club in football and they are a big big business uh business you know uh, uh family or uh, organization in india they already do lots of stuff for indian sports we know all about what they've done in the olympic sports for indian athletes so if they want to start the uh, uh the the club and i am the uh, so you are the decision maker and i am the proposer i am going sir we want to start a football club uh let's play in the second division of i uh, of i league and then qualify to is i league and then hope one day we'll qualify to isl will that be attractive to the uh, decision maker or that you know sir let's take a franchise and start a uh football franchise from ahmedabad just like we have franchise for kabaddi or kho kho or other we straight away going to play in isl so i think i think these things these things are hand to hand we need that private and uh, business and public partnership equally to progress the game we need passion i'm i'm myself very passionate about indian 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 sports indian football but i think you can't you can't uh, keep business out of the indian sports indian or sports worldwide it's very same you know it's it's very same worldwide not just uh, uh, say fc barcelona is big big example of it they they wanted to keep football out uh, business out of uh, their club now they have to be forced to use the business part of the club to remain sustainable and to sign these players is 66 team will play in uh, playoff uh, uh no confirmation on that I, we have to wait before we can give anything on that tell something about performance of india under i think i think uh, they have they have looked good in the recent games compared to the first game which i watched and i think let's see how they do against maldives uh, oh, sorry against uh, bangladesh again in the final will be interesting to see because bangladesh is the team which they lost against uh, because indian team generally generally do well when they play more and more games at under 19 and 16 level so let's see how they do it against bangladesh which i think clubs gets promotion to isl in your opinion i think seeing the track record uh, i can see mohammedan sporting gokulam churchill uh, making good teams uh, but can't ignore round glass punjab also uh you know uh so i think these four teams looks like the teams who might fight for the promotion to uh, isl why football states like west bengal kerala north east are not enough to reach world cup if european countries reach the world cup population less than any in a state what is the actual problem i never believe this theory of the population by the way uh, uh the population we have this much population i it's simple as fact west bengal is a football state i agree uh how many of uh, west bengal kerala or north east footballers have started playing football or started learning football when they are 4 5 6 or even 7 8 9 not many so just being a football state state is does not going to help unless you unless you have the football culture uh, in europe you see players started taking football education when they are 4 or 5 or this six so that's what it's all about why can't club like dempo find a sponsor like inami or like of east bengal dempo if they want to play in isl they don't need a sponsor they have good, they, they themselves have a good money but i think it's all about their what they want to do what about vidya sagar saying can you sort of move from bfc i think you stay at bangalore fc maybe a loan move but he's not going to move uh, permanently shan pandita etik if they want to sign ishan pandita i think etik moment need to pay a record breaking transfer fee i'm not sure highest but they have to pay a very major chunk of transfer fee uh kela last i have not made any inquiry on shan pandita but i think that's the only uh rel- reliable indian striker in the market jj is another one uh, or they go for himanshu jhangra you know so not many strikers are remaining most clubs start their pre season but when will goa start their pre season the reserve team have already started training and the senior team will also start very soon sel can play st- secondary striker if they do not get a striker he has the same work rate as jays i think i really like to see sel playing in that uh, free striker role 
uh, who who can be allowed to drift in uh, winger wing position uh, can be allowed to uh, come deep in midfield and can allow go behind that will be great if sahel can be used in that position so i think but it's all about trust of the coach but ask them to climb the division what about the values ethics passion and the merit follow top clubs follow the same model if adani wants to have a football club just by like a premier just like a premier league owners uh, but premier league owners uh, say to, uh, just to give an example uh, uh, manchester city uh, owners bought manchester city because they were in the premier league newcastle owner bought newcastle because they were in the premier league and they didn't uh, why they don't go buy uh, when blackburn are in the league or sutherland are in league one they have, they have a rich legacy because businessmen see the returns they need returns they need visibility you know uh, they are big big english club who are part of league 1 league 2 there are no new owners coming you know as such so i think that's what i'm i understand passions is have a value but not easy in this world with passion so guys thank you very much uh, 134 like and it's it's great chatting you guys uh, taking your questions uh, i am thinking to start a new show uh which will be known as indian football forum hopefully nobody copy it before i can formalize so i am going to uh, i am going to you know uh, uh, bring indian football fans uh so so to reach out to me on twitter uh, or you can reach out to my email id which is negi@khelna.com i am ideally looking for fans from each clubs in general indian football fans and we'll 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 kind of have four to five indian football fans uh, initially uh, it will fill of course going to be on the zoom uh, by the way zoom pe hi kar kar payenge and it will be different of this show inside indian football maybe we can do it uh, monday or tuesday one hour show uh, so so i'm just thinking uh, in which we will take the opinion of indian football fans we'll allow indian football fans to have a discussion and everything if you want to represent your club in that forum or something you know Uh, do reach out. Uh, it will be great. Uh, and uh, as Devashi says, give preference to IFN members to the show. IF Indian Football Network is is the OGs. So uh, if they want to come, because those 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 friends of mine, uh, I will say fam family of mine, they don't want to come up front. So that's the issue. Uh, if if of course I am going. I know the people who are in Indian football for years. Uh, so I will love to bring them on board or for this show. But still. i'm looking for each and every fans from each and every club uh, to reach out uh, you know uh, to reach out to me vikram pratap not possible they be sorry uh, to reach out uh, and hopefully launch this show maybe next week uh, tuesday i think it is a good time monday become big hectic after the conwell games uh, to discuss everything about indian football i think fans should be the given the uh, given the you know uh, given the platform to speak uh, and uh, you know um, as kumar reddy says and kumar reddy of course you are invited so do reach out to me on twitter and something i will uh, make a whatsapp group or something you know for these people and be going to switch it uh, not every day will they see the same fa- face but uh, we'll bring topics trending topics so is east bengal mohan bagan will be east bengal mohan bagan fan will bring other fans also so thinking to give this a platform for indian football and this have been the and very happy to tell that we as a khelna as a brand have done very good in conwell games in pro kabaddi last 10 15 days uh, i think website have traffic have grown you know uh, 10 15x you know and uh, which give us some uh, some leverage to experiment with indian football content because then indian football content is we are not on pressure to generate in football content just for the numbers this give us a leverage to do it and we'll continue doing it but i think thank you for all the all the fans all across indian to support us that's one thing but i'm i'm yeah so back to the show uh, the show will known as indian football forum it will be live uh, for sure uh, so first episode maybe next week uh, maybe we'll we'll bring uh, you know uh, mohan bagan east bengal some because of course we can't keep 12 fans uh in the, in the show but i think uh, we'll we'll decide the topics initially i will i will i will love to host it i think i will love to be there in the show uh but i think going ahead on the long term i will love uh, i will love you know uh, uh i will i will love the uh, fans to take it over and some of the targets of i have already told about targets of killer last of from spain by the way 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 back uh and i gave the nationality also the one of the target so i think but i can't give names that's the thing you know because the the the, the conversation are not that stage so you know we've been uh, we've been mohan looks like a uh, number 8 we like promotion to kelly first team will send a loan to somewhere else yes i think looks like that so i think i think uh, 
Pranav. So I think in that show we can talk about these club fans coming up, telling out young players they have in the reserve team. So the fans which I'm looking for should be very, very much passionate about uh, their teams, the football in India. They should know that who are the reserve players for the team, which we might not know. They should have some kind of details of what the reserve team, young players at the club doing. So I think I think we are looking for those people. So do reach out on my Twitter, which is Seven Negi Ashish. Uh, you know, uh, uh, where should I be? You know, re maybe deciding the fans to become on board. And I certainly weekend league for sure this season, John. Uh, so you know, and uh, what do you think? Does Himanshu Jangra, Shubhapal, Gogoi has potential to play abroad? Uh, too early to say. I don't think uh, as now we can say they are ready to be playing abroad. Since Soher has signed for Inami East Bengal, are North East United looking for any domestic centre forward? They should be looking for, but I'm not sure it it will be that the big name. You know, it will be another youngster if they're looking for. You know, uh, so I think I think I think I think it's Himanshu Jangra. I need to make a next step. If he is the next Indian savior in the striker position, he should be playing in ISL, not in the lower leagues. Uh, if Sirinidhi Deccan acquire promotion with current proposed uh, YSR ASA stadium in Vizag as their new home stadium, will Sirinidhi Deccan make a good addition to ISL and capture another fan? I think possibility is there, and why not? Uh, yeah. If they are doing it properly, and I know the owners, they are very professional about the approach they are doing with the football for the in the state. So let's see. Uh, so yeah, Durand Kavan Sports 18, nothing confirmed till now, we have to wait the confirmation, we have to wait for that. So will you come to Kolkata to watch Derby? I think this season I have a plan, uh, I have to cover some some stadiums, I think uh, we'll, we'll know and uh, we'll going to sit in the normal stands, I'm not going to sit in the uh, the VIP box or something, so you know, uh, something or that. So let's see, so I think uh, do let me know if you want to be an Indian football, uh, football forum, that's one thing. Uh, and I have, I have, which people have reached out to me, I will, I will, you know, I'm definitely going to reply you back. So ideally, ideally, I'm going to, I think, get four or five fans uh, in the first episode, which should be on Tuesday in the evening only. So, so we'll talk about that, you know, and uh, we'll figure it out how we're going to do that. Uh, but yeah, definitely the show is coming, and I really wanted to give our fans a voice of their own, you know, where they can platform where they can speak about. Uh, John, ISL will be weekend. I have already, it, not the proper weekend, but Thursday to Sundays. It looks like uh, it will be weekend. So I think, uh, so do reach out on me on Twitter or on email ID. This is negi at the if you want to reach out by email. And uh, we're going to give this show an uh, actual show very soon. Uh, of course, the social media links of Khelna on description, Khelna on Instagram, Twitter, which you can follow. For all the CWG news, also by the way, Conwell Games, India is doing decently okay. Uh, but uh, I think we still need to do better in this, at least at Conwell Games. That's one thing. Another thing, Kabaddi auction is there in tomorrow. So do look for that if you're into Kabaddi. And of course, Jurand Cup is coming, coming, coming home. Uh, bringing uh, starting in football season so we are looking forward to that also the SAF championship final is also there tomorrow so which is we should be looking into uh, to, to see India team young players doing well so guys thank you very much for joining in uh, I will see you again next Thursday uh, same time 6 p.m. Uh, with the inside Indian football another episode and I think that today I really like the show the way it is gone I think we'll keep the pace of the show in the similar level thank you